Dozens of people are still missing after a boat carrying more than 250 passengers capsized in Lake Kivu in Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo on Thursday. Regional officials say the death toll stands at 78, while other authorities have given contrasting figures. With many still missing, their fears that the death toll could rise. CDTN's Caroline B. reports. Footage of the capsizing boat has emerged. The vessel leans sideways. Then little by little, it overturns. Everyone on board is thrown into the deep waters of Lake Kivu. It is mid-morning, around 700 meters away from the boat's destination on the shore of Goma in North Kivu province. Witnesses say the boat was packed, with authorities saying it had 278 people on board. There were very strong waves and those who were upstairs started to throw themselves into the lake. On shore, soldiers and humanitarian agencies tried to identify the bodies recovered from the lake, while those with relatives on board cried out. Aline believes her husband is among the dead. My husband had gone on a trip and told me that he was coming back today. He had called me asking me to pray for him. He said the boat was capsizing and that there was a lot of water inside. I arrived here and they told me he is dead because I don't see him among those who were saved. Rescued passengers were transported to Keshero Hospital. 51-year-old Rehema was among them. She doesn't have any memory of how she got to the hospital. Some threw themselves into the water. They started to swim and others remained stuck in the boat. I don't remember how I was saved because I already had lost consciousness. When the accident happened, Keshero Hospital was already full. This hospital is overwhelmed. There's also Médecin Sans Frontières right here, which is also overwhelmed. The hospital is overwhelmed with just survivors. I'm worried that the morgue won't even be capable of receiving all the dead. This is the latest deadly boat accident in the Central African country where overcrowding vessels are common. The course of the accident is now under investigation even as rescuers continue scouring the waters for survivors. Caroline B, CGTN.